Hi, my name is Sarah Stevens and I'm applying for the Citizenship Washington Focus Program Assistant position. For my teachable moment, I'm going to teach you how to make a fondant rose to use on a cake. For this, what you're going to need is some fondant, which I bought at my local craft store and I just bought it in white and then used food coloring to dye it pink, um, and a plastic bag and then anything else you're going to want to use to decorate it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you need to take a small piece of fondant and you're going to roll it into a ball and then you're going to take your pointer finger and make a tip on it so it looks somewhat like a Hershey's Kiss. You're going to set that aside and what you're going to do next is you're going to take another uh, piece of fondant and roll it in a ball. You're going to put it inside the plastic bag and you're going to squish it down and you want to make one of the edges really thin. I'm going to take it out and you want to wrap it around the base that you just made and you want it to get pretty close um, to the center so that it looks like the inside of a rose. So now what you're going to do is you are going to continue making petals the same way. You're going to end up making uh, between five and ten petals and again you're just going to put it in the bag, squish it down and make the edge really thin and take it out. You want to put the petal on not in the exact same position and you want to kind of stagger it so that they're all not starting and ending in the same spot. As you're doing this, if you find that you're making mistakes or the petals aren't turning out quite right, don't get too worried about that. Um, no rose in real life is perfect and a lot of times the imperfections make it look more realistic. And the other thing with these roses is if you make a mistake you can always just squish it and start it again. As you get farther out you're going to want to start kind of uh, making them the petals go out so that the flower expands a little bit rather than having all the petals be really squished together. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. So and at this point once you've got the initial petals done you can kind of get more creative with layering them like this next one I'm going to put inside of here rather than on the outside like I've been doing so far. That just adds variety to how the petals lay and makes them a little more realistic looking. So. The bottom of the rose is a lot bigger than the top and that kind of looks funny and so what I'll do is I will take the middle, find the middle um, from the top of the rose to the bottom and just kind of squeeze it and take the extra off. So now you have a smaller rose and it looks more rose like because the bottom isn't quite so big. You're going to want to set it down and let it dry for a while. That way the fondant will be able to harden and then it's easier to place on your cake. And then another fun thing that you can do with roses is you can add decorations to them once you've already made the rose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take some of this, it's called shimmer dust, and it's safe to be eaten. Um, and I'm going to just paint some onto this rose to make it just kind of shimmer and it looks really pretty. Um, and you're just going to dip it in the shimmer dust and then just kind of paint it on. Another fun thing to do rather than shimmer is taking food dye and uh, making details like rimming the edges of the petals or different things. You can really get creative with it and do whatever you want. But here is what it looks like when the shimmer dust is on it. It doesn't add a lot, but it just kind of makes it shiny and I think it looks pretty. So now that I've done that, the last step is arranging them on the cake, which you can really do anyway. I'm just going to kind of make a pile on top. And um, you can put some frosting on the bottom. That will make it stay better. And then you just place it on in any arrangement that you want. Oh, it's not quite dry yet. And there you go. You have a cake made with some roses on top. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new today.